Hey guys, it's Matt here. Um, shoot, I don't know what to say. I kind of knew what I was going to say when I started the video, and then I just kind of forgot as soon as it started. Oh, wanted to go over a couple of things, because it's been a while, and I don't usually talk on here that much. And when I do, it's a lot, but I seldom do it. Use bigger words. But, um, still not used to looking into the camera, because I'm always afraid. Then I'm, my eyes look fixated, you know, like, in between. But, that's whatever. Um, I leave in two months for boot camp. And I'm trying to, I guess, live it up. Do what I want to do. Do what's best for me and all that jazz. So, I'm trying here. But, um, I'm, I'm not doing so well. I don't feel good. Emotionally, and you know, not emotionally and mentally, I guess you know. I gotta mentally prepare myself for leaving. It's not that it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be easy. It's just there's stuff I'm going through now, which I gotta figure out. I'm trying not to mix my emotions with how I think, but in order to get over things, I kind of need to use my head. So it's kind of it negates itself. But um, I just got. Shoot me for saying it, but I kind of got girl problems. But I mean, it's not the biggest worry. It's just one problem with a certain subject could remind you of something else, which reminds you of many other things. And that's what's happening with me right now. I'm just fixing myself real quick. Don't mind me. Um, my hair's still messed up. I'm going off topic, but um, whatever. I'm saying um a lot. That's one thing. If I'm gonna complain about anything and be a bitch. It's about the customers I take orders for at McDonald's. All they say is, um, 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 dee dum dum dum, um, um, um. Kind of pisses me off. But, uh, you know, you gotta work through it. Forget about it. But, um, shit, I just did it again. <laughs> I, I realized that, um, shoot. <sighs> it sounded intelligent in my head, then as I was about to say it, I was like, nah. But I gotta th figure a way to express... What I feel, it's just, um, it's just the, the way you feel about somebody, you can grow feelings easier, but for other people, it's probably just as easy just to lose those feelings for other people. Not me, because, I mean, I'm in a bit, I'm kind of emotional. So, I mean, it's been a while since I've, I don't know, talked to somebody, but that doesn't matter. I'm just... You know, it's not like we need to rely on other people to hear our problems, but it's always good to be able to talk to someone and know that for sure that they have no reason to tell anybody else that they'll listen to you, they'll understand, well not understand, but I mean, it's nice if they do understand, which, what I had, but not anymore. Um, I miss it, because without this person I'm kind of just free roaming and there's all these people in my life that come and go. I forgot my headphones downstairs. I could have grabbed those. <laughs> my dad's watching wrestling. And my dad and me aren't so great right now because uh, he owes me $20. I understand some parents are grown teenagers. I guess they're going to be like, well, your parents shouldn't owe you money. Well, my dad made a bet with me today. He lost. He shook on it. He owes me money. So that's no big. That's not the worst part. That's not even serious. But it's just. He rather spend he wants to spend more time with my neighbor's kid than me, and I'm leaving soon. Just I'm not gonna say just because her father's deployed. Yes, their father's deployed, and um, her mother's struggling. But I mean, it shouldn't completely shut your son hit hit you know my dad's son out me you know I feel neglected half the time because whenever he's not helping them out he's at home with mom. Or not even with mom watching soaps, soap operas, or sleeping. And I always ask him to do something, and he's like, no, not today. Same thing with both parents. You ask them to, if you want to do something, they say, no, not today, I'm too tired, not this weekend, I'm busy. And then they expect me to go out of my way to make time for them when I'm always asking them to hang out. Like, I would say six out of seven days of the week, I ask them to do something as a family, and then one day... When I make plans weeks ahead, they're like, hey, we're going out. Do you want to come? And I say, no, I have plans. And then they make me feel bad. They're like, oh, you always want to talk about hanging out. 
why not now? But, you know. So, I'm kind of used to feeling bad. I don't feel bad anymore, really, because I'm not stupid. So, and then I got friends who are getting mad at me for stupid stuff. They're making me, trying to make me feel guilty. I'm not going to feel guilty if, you know, if something's not my fault and something happens, and it's, whether it be soon or last minute, I'm going to feel bad, but I'm not going to feel guilty because I didn't do anything wrong. And that's why I don't make promises, because if I can't keep it, I won't make it. So, I didn't promise, I know that. So, people are mad at me for stupid stuff. Um, people, I guess, are talking about me behind my back. People who I thought were friends. Obviously not. So, it, it's, it's a lot going on right now. It's not really a vlog, this is kind of like a depressed one. I'm not depressed. Because it depresses for the week. Yeah, I'll say it. Shoot me. If you come at me and say, oh, I've been depressed before. You can say you've been depressed. But I mean, it's because you let your emotion get ahead of you. And people who say being depressed means you don't really have emotions. I mean, who tell, who's the one that diagnoses you with depression? A doctor. Psychiatrist. What does a psychiatrist do? He analyzes the human behavior. Psychology. So why can't we take initiative in ourselves and learn how to understand our own bodies, our own emotions, our own selves, so we don't have to pay or rely on others to figure out our problems for us? We weren't put here to lean on others or God to uh, help us with our problems. The only help we can get is from ourselves. We need to take initiative. We need to step up for ourselves, take action, and do whatever it takes to fix whatever we've broken undo anything whatever it takes you know you want something you go after you don't depend on someone else you i'm not going to say never depend on someone but never depend on someone because i'm not saying this because i'm a debbie downer in the end you'll either not get complete satisfaction of what you wanted or they'll just let you down you got to depend on yourself you can still be happy you can still hang out with friends and I guess rely a little bit on them, depending on stuff. But, I mean, if they don't show up to a party or something like that, don't be heartbroken about it. I mean, be like, sorry you can't come. And you'll be upset that they couldn't come. But, I mean, what if they're dealing with something really important? You can't change that. You're not going to get mad at him for it. Which is why my friend's mad at me. Which is why he shouldn't... He, she, sorry. Shouldn't be mad at me for it. But, you know, I'm public enemy number one, so everybody's got to be mad at me. Everyone's mad at me lately. So, I just gotta take it in, all this hate, but I don't really care because people hating me has nothing to do with my life, you know? Like, I wanna join the Navy. I wanna go for CIA. A couple of people hate me, so what? That That's not gonna, like, if you write a story about your most important things in life, you're not gonna write, people hated me. Unless, unless that person has something directly to do with your future, or your timeline with your life important events, then you don't need to worry about it. I know a lot of people hate me. I know some people dislike me, especially the ones who are plastic around me, the ones who act nice but really don't like me. And some of them I thought were really close with me because they're close with my close friend, but that's a different story. And... I don't know. I just hate... I'm not going to say I hate being lied to because I get... You, everyone lies. I lie. <laughs> But I mean, I'm beyond. I'm honest about this, my beliefs, what I say, logic. I'm not just spitting it out. It's what I believe in. And um, just to get my story straight with everybody, because I figured that my friends are gonna get all mad at me for saying it, and I shouldn't say it. But I mean, I'm I'm not a Christian. I don't believe in God. That's all. That's, I don't believe in hope. Well, hope. Depends on what you mean by hope. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in karma. There's, like, me and my boss, Justin, you know, what, what he keeps saying, everything happens by the actions you take in life. And my friend Ariel says that too. You can't base everything on bad luck, bad karma. Jesus hates me. Well, isn't Jesus supposed to always love you? And it's just really hard for me to believe it because if death, if killing someone is a deadly sin... And then asking for God's forgiveness, and He forgives you. That kind of 
it doesn't make sense. So I could kill 20 people and beg and plead for forgiveness and fool myself into believing that I actually want forgiveness. And he would just forgive me. If that was the case, then we would live life with no morals, which is why we have the Ten Commandments, which is why we have religion in the Bible, so we can set morals for our society, so we can live peacefully in this utopia. It's not really a utopia because we still got war. You know, our economy lives off of war and jobs. It's not, that's not a utopia. Utopia is where someone can grow up in a stable family, not living on the streets, not living in a trailer, living in an average sized home with an average family, no financial problems, no crimes, but you know, that's never going to happen in our society. So, and wanting to change society is a big step. And that's not going to happen. So if you've been listening to me for the past 11 minutes, you've just heard my thoughts and what I think about a lot of things. So I'm going to wrap it up. Basically, don't let other people get in the way of what you want to do in life, whether it be friends, close friends, family, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. And if I ever hear any of my guy friends say they didn't join the military because of their girlfriend, I will slap them across the face. And if, um, unless they, you know, say, you know, I didn't really want to join anyways, if they don't lie about saying it. But I mean, like, if they're really dead set on it and they're upset they couldn't join, then I'm going to be like, go back, you know? But don't let anybody, don't let how anybody feels about you get in the way of what you want to do in life. Don't let that change who you are. You can't change who you are anyways. I mean, people are not allowed to decide what you should change about yourself. It's your decision. It's your body. You do what you want with it, so... That's it. I'm gonna probably hit the hay because I just got home, hanging out with the family, and apparently some people didn't like that, but that's besides the point. I'll see you guys later. Tails Mets out.